it's a really pleasure to have Mr. Uh, Kalin Sadat with us, who is a retired Air Chief Marshal and is a President of SAS. Sir, uh, thanks for joining us. I just want to know that in, in the as far as uh, when when it comes to regional warfare, how digit, digitalization is important, how significant it is. Digitalization is the future in every domain, and uh, the armed forces uh, are a beneficiary of technology. Has been a beneficiary of technology always. So that is how it is important, as important in the military domain as it is in the civil and commercial and other domains uh, to have digital progress. Uh, there is a need for uh, our government and of our industry, of our academia to focus on this particular aspect. So do you think that um, as, uh, if we uh, go to um, uh, look at our regional conflicts, we see that the, our uh, neighboring country, India, uh, with whom we have a lot of differences, invested billions of dollars on digitalization and they made a leaps and bounds of progress in this regard. Do you think we invested uh, as much as we should or there is a need to invest more in this regard? No, all, there is definitely a need to more uh, in, invest more in it because obviously the gap that has been created between India and us uh, is uh, too huge. But there are reasons uh, for this gap developing. One is, of course, the absolute potential that a 1.2 billion people population gives to India. And also, uh, they had had a stable governments over decades and decades. Some of them were not as good uh, in their performance prior to the 90s. But after 90s, once they set their economy in order, they have generated enough economic growth uh, which can finance and fund their uh, research and development activities. So that is how they have gotten an edge over us. We need to focus more on this. So how important digitalization is for, of, uh, is for economic stability and, as, and with uh, perspective to um, uh, security as well? You see, uh, it is behind every gadget that you have. All the financial systems that exist in this world uh, from uh, ATM, you know, to the digital payments system that people have created, it has taken money out of uh, the equation, practically taken money out of the... Now, when we visit the Western countries, when we roam around with notes in our hands, we seem too backward. Other right. people just tap their telephones uh, against the machine and it records the payment, you know. Uh, so it leads to integration, it leads to uh, uh, better integration between countries, between companies, between multinational corporations, and you are able to uh, do business seamlessly. Uh, so this generates economic growth. You know, every jump in integration uh, uh, generates economic growth. So for that, it is important. We are uh, too far backward in this because, you know, uh, we have a large informal economy, so obviously it has got no benefit of digitalization. It is only with uh, old system of currency and notes, etc. So, last question: um, Our armed forces, um, army, uh, navy, and military, uh, uh, or air force, to what extent they have been uh, automated, and to what extent digitalization have been taking place in this uh, in all our armed forces? Uh, I know about the air force that air force has become paperless. You know, all its uh, working is done in a paperless environment. So there has been an emphasis on that. Insofar as the integration of network, etc. I mean, now the air chief does not have to go to bases, you know, uh, to address them like we used to do in the olden times. You know, you can through video conferences, you can uh, hook up any number of commanders at the field level and uh, hold a meeting. You know, so it has improved efficiency, it has cut down expenditure, uh, and uh, it has made things better. Uh, similarly, uh, flow of data in between like radars, sensors, aeroplanes uh, is more uh, integrated again with the uh, in, uh, integration of the networks that we have created. So uh, progressively, uh, it is moving towards that, but because we do not have uh, indigenous uh, industrial base or uh, as strong as the West has, 
uh, we have and and these algorithms and softwares are not available you know the ones that are helpful in network centric warfare or cyber security etc we have to develop our own algorithms so uh, th that is the area that we need to focus to further improve things so dissemination of knowledge between all three forces is being done through digitalized sources and it is uh, security proof no, uh, between the services, it is not yet uh, done. Between the services, it is still done on with the conventional paper method. But within the services, it is uh, taking use because uh, when all the three services and the joint staff headquarters, when they try to do things, the project becomes too huge, you know, uh, uh, for you to be able to manage, uh, to bring about that capability quickly. So. Our uh, philosophy, rightly or wrongly, has been that each, ser each service has pursued uh, its own uh, uh, method uh, to bring about this change. And at some level, subsequently, uh, they could get integrated. Thank you, sir. Thank you.